Hi, everybody. Mark Square's Flight Check version 7 for the Macintosh has just been released with InDesign CC, Illustrator, Photoshop CC support, and much more. You can check it out here on the products page or click on the fancy banner we have there. So let's go over Flight Check version 7. What's new, what can it do, and how to install and activate this multi award winning standalone application from Marksware to pre flight and package your desktop publishing files. What's new in Flight Check 7 is the main thing is the added support for the new subscription model from Adobe, which is also a new feature with Flight Check, a subscription model, is the new. InDesign, CC files, Illustrator CC, Photoshop CC, Acrobat PDF CC, etc. So, and you can download the full version support list here. So there's a lot of new support, Creative Cloud products from Adobe. So this is very important to have the latest, greatest of flight check. The subscription model allows you to always get the latest version, you know, no matter if you have, uh, for instance, uh, Quark 10 support will come out. Um, sometime soon, exactly when, it's hard to say. When that comes out, you'll automatically get that support in your flight check. You don't have to go and repurchase and redo the whole thing with your purchasing department. With the new subscription model from Marksware, you just always have the latest updates, new features and functions, etc. Better handling of Illustrator files and Photoshop files, so you can see in a moment how we can handle those file types with extreme precision. We'll take this Photoshop document here could be Quark Express, Adobe InDesign, could be Illustrator, multiple file types, even PDFs. We'll check pretty much anything in the graphic arts industry on the print side and even on the online side. We can just drop a file onto the flight check icon or onto the flight strip as it's called and flight check will do its work. It'll pre-flight and ascertain everything that's used in the file. And very quickly we get back a report screen here, the flight check's results screen will in relatively plain English tell you what the problems are. So you can very quickly see, ah, I have an RGB image used within this Photoshop document and I have an IC profile that's been applied. Oh, and look at that. Most importantly, I have some missing printer fonts. When you go into the main screen, you'll get all details on your file. I have one image used, but you can see very quickly that the mode is RGB and that could be a problem. We get a preview of the image. After that, you can then collect the job up here. Just hit collect. This commonly termed package in Adobe language, or pack allow you to package the job, will allow you to collect everything used in the file, all fonts, images, elements, even allowing you to compress the file. Now this is very handy because you cannot, for instance, collect Photoshop files in Adobe Photoshop CC. CS6 or CS5, doesn't matter. Illustrator, same thing for older versions of Illustrator in any event, you can't package them. But with FlightCheck, you can. And you can package in Design, Quark, etc. And you just hit Collect. And it's that easy. FlightCheck. In this case, says Watch out, there are problems. And once again, we even can compress this, making it very quick and easy for you to send to the next party in the workflow. And when we go in there, we'll see we get the file itself. If there was associated images, they'd be in the images folder, and we get the fonts used. If there's only one available, two are missing. So very handy to not only pre-flight, but package your files. On that note, let me show you something else. Here I have multiple InDesign files. I can take multiple files, and I can drop them onto FlightCheck down here on the dock. It'll now check each file. But combine results in the results screen to give us a complete overview. For instance, great for book publishing. Now, deeper than that, apart from seeing all the problems, and then I can go into each file individually and see what's going on these, in these, in these uh, files, I can then collect, which I just showed you a moment ago, but now it'll collect everything, and I'll even compress the job this time just to show you. It'll show you how much space it's going to take up. All elements will be collected. And we hit collect. Look at that. In mere seconds, get the archive zip file, which is now multiple InDesign files collected into one archive. 
and there you see we get everything. All the files we pre-flighted and all used and available fonts and all used and available images. Really amazing and powerful. All right, staying with this theme, let's now take native Photoshop file and in design CS6 file. Actually, this is a CC file. Doesn't matter, check it all. A native Illustrator file and a Quark Express layout. Let's take all of those and drop them on Flight Check. What do you think is going to happen? Well, here, let's do it this way. Let's drop on the flights, drop them up there. You see, we get the number four, four files. Let's do it. Flight Check will pre flight each and every file independently. It'll even switch the pre-flight preferences, which we're going to go over in a second, to be specific for those file types. Real power for your pre-press department. There we go. Complete overview of everything seen in the file. Some scaled images in there. We have some GIF images used. Maybe okay for online, but if we're going to print, we might want to watch out for this. Look at that. CMYK values are too high. And it tells us which document those problems can be found in. That Illustrator file. Look at that. And once again, we can dive in and see specifics on any given any given file. For instance, we see here the EPS used in that Quark Express file. If we hit collect, the same thing. It'll collect everything used in this batch of files we just pre-flight checked. It'll package them all up and once again extremely powerful for environments where you're working with mixed desktop publishing document formats. Book publishing, but could be corporate environments, printers, there you go. anyone getting in multiple file types. And we'll close off these individual pre-flights and we'll go into the jobs, problems with this job. But there you go. Everything copied over, collected with a pre-flight report, all fonts used. All images used in one folder. Extremely powerful in Flight Check 7 from Marksware. Now we're going to go over some more advanced stuff on Flight Check. For instance, the pre-flight profiles, as we call them, the ground controls, the advanced preferences in Flight Check to pinpoint your checking to an even higher degree, and how you can actually find and fix the problems with Flight Check. Folks, that's been Mark's first Flight Check, and this is a great quote here from Will Foster. Quality is never an accident. It is always the result of high intention, sincere effort, intelligent direction, and skillful execution. It represents the wise choice of many alternatives. You today can make the wise choice and try out FlightCheck or simply purchase today FlightCheck 7 for the Macintosh. Just click here, buy now. This has been David Dilling from Marksware, wishing you a fantastic day, and we look forward to your customer testimonials and feedback on FlightCheck version 7 for the Macintosh.